Hey y'all, it's my first garden update of the year. Um, I was meaning to do this last week, so everything's gonna be kind of shoved back a week this month, but hopefully my garden updates will be at the last week of every month. So this is my really terrible setup. It's a stand, but it's really supposed to be one of those one long lights. So I am gonna replace the lights next year. I didn't feel up to it this year because I got a bunch of other gardening stuff. So I was like, you know, I don't wanna spend that much money, but it works okay. It's not great because it will randomly drop the lights if I'm adjusting them and I have killed plants that way. Not this year. I've been more conscious about it, but all right. So let me tell you what I've got here. First, I always start with celery because celery takes forever to grow. So I have a bunch of little celeries in here. I am going to have to thin a little bit like those two are right next to each other. But anyway, celery. And then I have my broccoli and cauliflower. And I'll tell you what varieties I have. I wrote them down. So last year I grew my cauliflower in grow bags and it worked out phenomenally. It was great. I put them on the side of my house and then just fortunately with where I placed them based on a friend's advice, um, they would get plenty, lots and lots of morning sun. And then by the afternoon they were in the shade, which was perfect because you know, it was too hot for them at that point. So this year I am also going to put my broccoli in grow bags on the, on the side of the house as well. And I have four different variety. Well, okay. Let's go over my four different varieties of cauliflower first. So we've got, I made a guide for this. I've got flame star, which is, uh, these three and this one, and that's an orange variety. And then we've got Snow Crown, that's a small white variety, those ones. And then over here we have a new one called De Purple, so the purple. I Before it was called Graffiti. I should mention, you know, saying you're not the happiest, that's okay. We'll see if it perks up. Um, I grew about twice what I need. Uh, anyway, I use Fedco for my seeds. I should mention. So over here we have uh, Bermeo. That is a great white variety. And then that's the cauliflower. So then over here for broccoli, we have millennium. I have a couple of millenniums. That one didn't, the germination rate on my millennium wasn't good this year. And then I have Covina over here. That's a good broccoli variety. And then we have some more Millennium over here that, and again, a bunch of them did not sprout, but those are also Millennium. Not great. So those are my like one and done varieties. Now, I also went ahead and planted a couple of varieties that do offshoots. Um, I just recently planted in here, Green Magic. I did those last year in my raised bed. They were okay. The variety I've had that has done well, can you hear me? I have a guide on where's what's planted where. Um, last, um, the first year I grew, I did from High Mowing Seed Company, I did, um, yeah, there's nothing to see here, so I'll just talk, but, Last year, from High Mowing Company, I or the first year, it was Bell Star, and Bell Star had really great offshoot success. So my plan is to do Bell Star this year, and I'm going to put that and the Green Magic over in my side in ground garden because I'm moving things around, and there will be space there. I also planted some flowers. I've just had my first one sprout. These are some Cosmos. And I have some, two different kinds of verbena. Um, I have zinnias and I also have uh, marigolds. Oh, basil. I planted some basil. Like, what the heck? Um, but that's it. That's, 
that's what I planted so far. Um, this weekend I will start tomatoes and then maybe in a couple of more weeks from there I will do my squash, which is a controversial thing, but I can, um, I'll explain when I actually do it. So that's it for now. Another thing I ought to mention, I know that, you know, they're under these lights and the lights are terrible. I put them outside almost every day. Um, it's not even about hardening them up. It's just that actual sunshine is so much better for them. So they're outside most of the time. Right now it is raining. But once it's, if it stops raining later, I will put them outside instead because it's way better for them regardless. So, but basically I use the indoor lights. It's just like a supplemental light. It is not meant as their primary light source. It's really just a supplement, um, especially for like the flowers. They're not gonna wanna be outside when it's this cold, but I do put them outside when it's pretty cold to be honest. Okay. That's the update for this month. My plan is to do monthly entire garden updates and then you might see some shorts or even smaller updates depending if I have some exciting things to show you guys. Okay, bye.